Let's calculate the heat involved for a physical process. How much energy is required to heat 250 grams of water from 50 degrees C to 110 degrees C? Now the way to do this is to break it up into distinct energy changes. I'm going to heat the liquid water from 50 to 100 degrees C. Then there's going to be a phase change at 100 degrees C. And then I'm going to heat the gas from 100 degrees C to 110 degrees C. Each of those steps, there'll be an enthalpy involved. For the first step, it's a temperature change, so there'll be a heat capacity for liquid water. The second step is a phase change, so no heat capacity involved, no temperature change, a potential energy change, and then a second kinetic energy change where there'll be a heat capacity involved for the gaseous water. The sum of those three enthalpies will give me the enthalpy for the total process. So we can calculate each one of them. Delta H1, the enthalpy change for warming the liquid water, I'll need the heat capacity for liquid water, 4.184 joules per Kelvin gram. 250 grams is the mass of water. The heat capacity, 4.184 joules per Kelvin gram. And a 50 Kelvin temperature change. Now, again, Kelvin degrees and Celsius degrees are the same size, so I can use that 50 degree Celsius as a 50 degree Kelvin change. That's 52.3 kilojoules. The next step was the vaporization. So no temperature change, no heat capacity. All I need to know is the enthalpy of vaporization and the amount of water. So 250 grams of water and a enthalpy change for vaporization that I've written in terms of kilojoules per gram. So it takes 2.26 kilojoules to vaporize a gram of water at 100 degrees C. So the total enthalpy change for that, 565 kilojoules. The third step is another temperature change. So I need a heat capacity, this time for gaseous water, or steam. So the heat capacity for gaseous water, around 2 joules per gram degree Kelvin. So 250 grams, again, by those 1.996 joules for every gram and degree Kelvin I raise, and 10 kelvins. So that's 5 kilojoules. So the sum of the three enthalpies will give me the enthalpy change for the total process. So let's take those over and add them up, and I'll get 622 kilojoules for that process. It's a three-step process, two temperature changes, one phase change, most of the energy again in the phase change, but a total energy change of 622 kilojoules.